Let's take a look at how we can match invoice payments to the invoices that we've already created in Xero. So here we are on the reconciliation screen on the reconcile tab. Uh, just keep in mind that when it comes to matching payments against the invoices themselves, you cannot do it on the cash coding tab. You must match those invoices on the reconcile tab. So let's take a look at a couple of examples of matching these invoices and how to do that. And if I scroll down, you'll notice that there's uh, a couple of invo invoices here where on the right hand side, Xero's already matched them for us. And we know that because it's highlighted green. And that means that there is an existing invoice or bill that matches with the bank statement line that's coming through. So here's an example for Gateway Motors for $411.35. And on the right hand side, this is the bill that Xero is matching it with. Now, there's one thing to be mindful of make sure to double, even triple check the date of the payments as well as the invoice. Sometimes zero is going to match, especially if you have recurring customers who pay the same amount each and every month. Um, and sometimes they fall behind. Zero may sometimes match those payments against the incorrectly dated invoice. So maybe, you know, the June 3rd payment is matched with the May 3rd invoice or bill. So make sure you match those. Pretty easy to undo the reconciliation if you do mistakenly match it to the wrong bill, but we can find and match just to be sure if you're unsure of the amounts. In this case, uh, I think that gateway only has this one, so we know that that's the correct one. And then all you do is click OK, and that's going to reconcile that transaction. So I find the easiest thing to do is actually just go through the cash coding screen first, code all the transactions that aren't invoice and bill payments. And then when you come back to the reconciliation screen, you're basically just gonna see a wall of matched transactions that you can quickly go through and click okay, 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 and reconcile all those transactions. Now in the event that you do accidentally match the wrong or incorrect payment to uh, an invoice, you can go over to the account transactions tab and this is going to list all the transactions that you've posted to the general ledger for this bank account. So for the checking account specifically, um, so if we scroll down, let me see if I can find that. Here's that gateway motors transaction that we just reconciled and we just matched. So what I can do here is select that transaction and just simply click remove and redo. Zero is going to give you a warning. Are you sure you want to permanently remove the one selected account transaction? Note for reconciled transactions, this does not delete any statement lines. And that's really important for us because if we remove and redo any, un any reconciled transactions, all it does is it just breaks the link and it puts that transaction, that Gateway Motors transaction back over to the reconcile tab. So if I scroll down, you'll see that it's here again. It's matching against a transaction and I can just find the correct bill and then match those two things together.